everyone, it's Belinda. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom Dynamo node. Dynamo is a very flexible, user-friendly plugin that's great for both programmers and non-programmers to use. But even though it has a very extensive library of nodes, sometimes you just need to build your own custom node to perform a very specific task. Now there are several ways to create a custom node in Dynamo. You can build it from scratch, from an existing graph, or you can code it with Python or C Sharp. I'm going to follow the Dynamo Primer tutorial, which I'll link below. And I'm going to show you two ways of creating a custom node. In this first method, we're going to create a percentage node. Launch Dynamo and then select custom node. Under name, type in percentage and under description, type in calculate the percentage value of one value in relation to another. This custom node is going to be under the category core.math. You can see this custom node canvas has a yellow background, which is different from a typical Dynamo canvas. Now, the first thing you have to do is create two input nodes. Using two forward slashes, I'm going to write a comment first number. I'm going to define a variable X with a data type double and a default value of two. Now this default value is optional. Copy this input node to create a second input with the variable Y. The default value for this variable will be 10. Next, create a code block and type in a percentage formula of x divided by y times 100. Link this to the first two inputs as well as to a new output node. In the output node, remember to add a comment of resulting percentage of two numbers and define a variable output called percentage. Save this custom node you created as a .dyf as opposed to the standard dyn file. Then go back to your standard home canvas and search for your newly created percentage node. Use two code blocks to enter the two input values for x and y and a watch node for your percentage value. I'm going to define x as 30 and y as 90 and you can see the resulting percentage is 33.33. So our percentage node works great. Now that's a very simple custom node to create. The next one we're going to do is a little more complicated. We're going to create a custom node for UV mapping. We're going to map a point on one surface to another surface using UV coordinates. We're going to create a panelized surface like the one you see on the right, which references curves in the XY plane like the one you see on the left. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a grid of points. I'm going to use a code block to go from minus 45 to 45 with an increment of 10. I'm going to link this as both the X and Y values to a point by coordinates node. I'm going to then use these points as origin points to create planes using the plane by origin normal node. With a value of 10 for the width and length, I'm going to create rectangles around all these planes. And when you hit run, you can see that these planes were created along the diagonal. Now, in order to create a whole grid of these and not just a diagonal, right click on your point by coordinates node and change the lacing from shortest to cross product. When you run this updated graph, you'll see a whole grid of planes and rectangles were generated. The next thing we're going to do is map these rectangles to a target surface using UV coordinates. We're going to use a polygon.points node to extract the corner points of each rectangle. I'm just going to group the first part of this script for clarity. The next thing we want to do is create a surface around this entire large square of planes. So to do that, I'm going to create a rectangle with width and length of 100 and link this to a surface.bypatch node to create a closed surface. And I'm going to group these together as well for clarity. The next thing we're going to do is link this 100 by 100 surface we just created with the corner points we extracted from our rectangles. We're going to use the surface dot UV parameter at points node to do this. Using the UV dot U and UV dot V nodes, we're going to extract the UV points from this surface. The next part of this script involves importing this undulating 100 by 100 surface that we want to map all these points to. I'm going to link this surface in the description below. 
Once you import this geometry, link this to a surface dot point at parameter node. So to recap, we have a base surface and we've extracted the UV coordinates from that surface. We're then mapping all those UV coordinates to a new surface that we've imported. Finally, we want to use these 3D points on this undulating surface to construct rectangular surface patches. We're going to use the polycurve.points node to do that. And then with the Boolean value of true, we are able to create mini surface patches along this new large surface. When you run the script, you can see that all the points from the existing flat surface we'd created are now mapped onto this new surface. Now we want to create a custom node from all these free floating nodes that you see that aren't highlighted in green. So select all of them, right click and then select create custom node. Let's use the name of map polygon to surface and a description of map polygons from base to a target surface. This is going to be under the category geometry.curve. Once you save this, you can see your workspace is much cleaner than it used to be. The inputs and outputs are the same as the original nodes that we had. So it's surface, surface, polygon and an output of surface. Let's edit this node to make it more descriptive. So we're going to name the two initial services base surface and target surface to distinguish the two. We're also going to create a new output and that's going to be the polygons on the new surface. And that's it, you've created a cool new custom node that you can use for multiple projects. There are several advantages to creating your own custom node. You can easily reuse this node for other projects. Your graph is much cleaner and much clearer and you can even share it with other members of the Dynamo community. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.